Solving equations with addition and subtraction is like a seesaw. If the same size people are on opposite sides, the seesaw balances. But if one person gets off, the seesaw is no longer balanced. Once it's balanced, you can add more people if you add them to both sides. So if you add something to one side, you must add it to the other side. Equations are the same way, but whatever you add to one side, you must add to another side. If whatever you take away from one side, you need to take away from the other side. So x plus 10 equals 25. In this case, we want x, the variable, to be by itself. So we want to have, we want to get rid of this plus 10. So we need to do the opposite operation. x is being added by, t by 10, so we want to subtract 10. Do you see that if you have 10 and you take away 10, together those are 0. So all that's left on this side is x. So x is by itself, which is what we want, but what you do to one side, you must do to the other side, and you get 15 on this side. x equals 15. Rewrite x equals 15. This will be your solution to the equation, and then we're going to put it back in to see if it worked. 15 plus 10 equals 25, and it does. Again, x minus 5 equals 30. So x is your variable. It's being subtracted by 5. The opposite of subtracting 5 is adding 5. What you do to one side, you want to do to the other. So a positive 5 and a negative 5 will cancel each other out, leaving x by itself. This is called canceling. You just put one diagonal line through each one. Work the other side. 30 plus 5 is 35. Putting your equal. So x equals 35. You can check and see if you're right by sticking it back in the original equation. 35 minus 5 does equal 30. Let's try it with the steps. Solve for the variable in the equation x minus 10 equals 18. So first of all, let's write the equation. x minus 10 equals 18. Isolate the variable by using the opposite operation. So x is being subtracted by 10, so we want to add 10 on both sides. That allows us to have the x all by itself. So positive 10 and negative 10 will cancel. x will be on this side by itself. 18 plus 10 is 28, and bring down your equal sign. Write nice and neat, x equals 28, and circle. Now to show your check step, we're going to stick the 28 back up in our original equation and work it out. 28 minus 10 is 18. So we get what we wanted? Yes. So that's your check step. Solve for the variable in the equation 20 plus y equals 50. The variable is y. It's being added by 20. The opposite is to subtract 20 from both sides. Positive 20 and a negative 20 will cancel each other out, leaving y on this side alone. 20, 50 minus 20 is 30. These are already close together and neat, so you can circle them. And let's put it back in our original equation and do our check step. 20 plus 30 equals 50. Actually work it out and you'll catch any mistakes. Put back up, yes, that's what we wanted. Solve for the variable in the equation, 70 equals y plus 30. Now some people worry because it's on the opposite side, but no worries, the steps will be the same. 70 equals y plus 30. y is the variable, it's being added by 30, so the opposite is to subtract 30 on both sides. Because remember, you're trying to get this y by itself, isolate the variable, so a positive 30 and a negative 30 will cancel each other out. y equals 40. Rewrite it, y equals 40. And that will be your solution, but let's double check it. Stick it back in your original equation and work out the side. 40 plus 30. Equals 70. And that is what you wanted. And there's your check step.